Hi everyone, today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. Today we're going to be kind of debunking a few preconceived myths that most of us have before we become couponers or start couponing for the first time. And that's usually that we think that buying big is better. And I mean buying value packs or multi-buys rather than buying one individual product or a smaller quantity of a shampoo etc would be better value for money than buying a smaller quantity or a one pack instead of a multi-buy and so this is a video which kind of is going to break some of those ideas down why those may not be true when they might actually be be true when we're couponing but a lot of the time as couponers we want to kind of buy usually the cheapest out-of-pocket item and that usually makes sense to us because when we're kind of grouping those smaller value items in with our coupons, with our discounts, with our rewards programs, and then maybe with our rebates on the new apps that we have these days, we usually find that buying a smaller quantity of something or kind of a one pack rather than a three pack, even though they may be included in it, the same promotional deal, we will actually be getting a better deal out of pocket because we're gonna be spending less in proportion out of pocket and therefore buying multiple of something that is actually smaller in quantity is actually most of the time as couponers going to be better value for money for us and in this video I'm going to be kind of going over a few of the personal examples that I believe will kind of highlight this to you um, items that I have purchased over the last couple of weeks while kind of um, couponing in different shops I usually coupon in four main shops and to me they may differ from yours um, I coupon in Walmart I coupon in Target I coupon in CVS and I coupon in Rite Aid um, and so I'm going to be kind of giving you a few examples of the deals that I've picked up in those four stores and showing you when it may be a good idea as a couponer to buy multi-packs um, when they are combined with a coupon deal but when most of the time when we're couponing that it is better in the long run to buy a smaller size of a product or a smaller number of a product to get actually a better deal out of it in the long run. And this is really kind of a little bit difficult to comprehend when we first get into couponing and I found that as well is because we, we have this idea that you know if we buy a four pack of something or a four pack of toothpaste instead of one toothpaste on its own that we're going to get a better value in the long run because we've got more quantity of something for a lesser value you know usually and it is true if we buy a bigger quantity of something in one go so say we buy 20 toilet rolls that we should be getting a better deal in the long run buying those 20 toilet rolls than we should be getting for buying four on their own <laughs> of get your head around when you start couponing is that we have we, we're kind of taught I guess or not taught but you learn in general like kind of in the days before we coupon so I mean for me <laughs> it seems like the long distant past but I mean it you know you kind of get into this idea that oh that's a kind of that's a value pack of toilet roll and it's on promotional sale today for like ten dollars and there's 24 rolls what a bargain um, and we're still 
spending that $10 out of pocket and we may have to say a $2 coupon now because we're couponers. Oh, that's going to be $8 out of pocket. That must be a great deal, right? It was a great deal before we started couponing and now we've got a coupon. Now we're getting 20 rolls for $8. But a lot of the time when we're couponers and specifically couponers that really, really try to match deals and look at how we can get the best value for money and usually the, the smallest amount of money out of pocket, we tend to find that buying the smallest quantity of something allows us to almost get it for nothing out of pocket and then if we double up on that deal triple up on that deal and do that deal multiple multiple times we'll actually get a better deal than buying something in the first place in a bigger quantity to start with and so this video is kind of going to give you a few examples that i've collected over the past couple of weeks doing my own couponing and to kind of give you a kind of a practical visual idea um, about when it's best to buy big um, and go for the value packs when you're couponing and when it's most likely going to be better for you to go for kind of smaller individual packs or less um, volume. Of so I'm going to start off um, with one that happened around I believe September of this year when we were going into the back to school mode um, and a lot of the stationery and school equipment was on sale. Now in one of the smart sources we had a brilliant coupon which was a one dollar off one pack of any Big stationery so it basically allowed us to pick from the whole of the big stationery range now obviously at that time um, a lot of us are wanting to buy pens and pencils and things like that um, to send our children back to school with them and there was a lot of different um, websites at the time that were giving you different examples of things that you could buy with that one dollar coupon and um, a lot of um, the products around that time as well were also on sale so there were quite a few stores which actually reduced the price of some of those products down to one dollar exactly so basically it doesn't take a genius to work out that we were getting if we bought those products actually free items and I know Target at the time was actually one of the best places personally for me to get um, those those free deals. Um, I know you could do Walmart price match, but to be quite honest, I think that's more hustle than it's worth. Um, if you've ever done that, please let me know of your experience because, you know, I, I have been um, kind of... It, I've, I guess I've, I wanted to do it to get the good deals but I've heard so many nightmare stories about it that honestly I feel like it's just not worth the hassle um, and I've also had so many bad experiences myself actually in Walmart that I just I could just see it happening from a mile away. Um, so at the time like I said there was a $1 off one big stationery coupon and Target had um, 99 cent packs of pens. Here are the pens. Now there are also obviously big packs which are much bigger in size um, and if we bought those, well yes we'd be getting a dollar off them but we would still be spending some out of pocket. I had quite a few of those coupons and I was actually able to get 40 packs of these free pens. Now obviously there's about 10 or 12 in each pack so you can work that out for yourself, that's a lot of free pens. Obviously if I'd have been getting a bigger pack I would have had to be spending some um, more out of money to get, uh, sorry, some out of pocket to get the same amount of pens that I would basically be getting for free if I just bought these packets. So a lot of the time when you have a low value coupon like that, see if you can get the smallest pack, see what the size of the smallest pack is and you will probably find find that if you use that coupon on the smallest pack you can buy multiple of the same pack to actually spend less out of pocket but get more than you would be if you were buying the bigger pack in the first place and so kind of that's like the running theme that you will see throughout these examples. So the next example that I'm going to show you concerns shampoo and I want to give you a lot of different examples so that you get an idea that usually buying small quantities of things is kind of a good thing to do um, across the board rather than just on one or two items. So this one concerns shampoo and I go through shampoo like nobody's business because I feel like my hair needs to be washed like literally every night otherwise my scalp just feels all icky. Um, but luckily both me and my husband both use the same herbal essences shampoo and this is the herbal essences hello hydration and um, it's the moisturizing shampoo and it's got extracts of coconut in it as well we both really love this shampoo and i find that it doesn't make my hair overly greasy in fact to be honest i think it just has like a softening and softening effect a lot of shampoos when i have used them kind of multiple times like every single day eventually my hair will feel quite greasy whereas i really haven't had this problem for me it's like pretty much a miracle shampoo 
But the offer that I'm going to be um, kind of giving you the example of was back in about the beginning of October at Walmart um, and at the time they had these on sale on a rollback promotion for two fifty dollars each which means we could buy two for the, the same, well we could buy two for five dollars. At the time we also had a four dollar um, coupon when we bought two of these um, and that meant that when we bought um, two of these we were basically getting them for one dollar. Obviously five take four we're getting both of them for a dollar or individually we're getting them for 50 cents. Now if I compare this to um, basically somebody that was going in maybe without coupons and looking for the best deal they would probably go for the biggest bottle they could find at the cheapest price because a lot of the times we find that bigger bottles um, proportionately are actually less money. Obviously we're getting with couponing the 300ml bottle for 50 cents. Now if we went in and bought the biggest bottle that we possibly could, it's about a 33 ounce bottle or one litres, and at Walmart those were around 5.98. Now basically we're getting one 300ml bottle for 50 cents. Now we can do this often multiple times. Um, if we've got four identical coupons, we can use four identical coupons in the same transaction and um, that's kind of like the stipulation or the, the legalities of the coupon itself. So we can actually buy eight of these Herbal Essences shampoo in the same transaction and receive them all for 50 cents each. Now we would have to buy four of these Herbal Essences Herbal Essences shampoos um, to be able to kind of equate to this deal. Instead of getting one litre though we would be getting 1.2 litres but instead of paying 5.98 for one litre we'd be able to get the equivalent of 1.2 litres for uh, for two dollars each, I mean for two dollars together, 50 cents each for which equates to 1.2 litres basically for two dollars. So obviously we're getting a saving there of around three to four dollars and we're also getting 200 mil more um, quantity for our money. So that's why when we are couponing we shouldn't always be looking at the biggest the biggest thing. We should be kind of taking, taking um, advantage of the deals on maybe smaller quantities of product but using our maths to be able to see and compare um, what is actually the best value for money and usually it's basically a simple calculation where we see well if we're getting a certain amount for this much if we're getting a smaller product and using coupons versus if we're getting a bigger quantity for this much and not using coupons at all so that's a really good deal and it means that I've basically got kind of a whole a whole drawer full of these really small herbal essences um, shampoos and what we do is we have um, actually the, the one litre bottle that we purchased prior to starting couponing um, and that fits around three of those um these fits around three of these 250 ml bottles within it so what we do is we just decant three of those um smaller bottles into it when it needs to when it's basically run out and we can use it in kind of the dispenser bottle um again and it's already filled back up again so 50 cents each basically versus you know a larger a larger version of the product and actually paying more out of pocket for it so that's a good deal. Another deal that comes up time and time again and this is kind of in association with CVS is band deodorants. They always come up in a promotional deal. We kind of don't really go a couple of weeks without seeing this deal come back up and believe it or not it's actually on again at CVS this week so you might want to take a look at it in the weekly ad. Now I always go for these smaller cheaper deodorants from band. These are 3.79 each versus their um, other deodorants which are around 4.99 to 5.99 depending on the type and variety that you go for and we find a lot of the time that with CVS itself, CVS isn't in general the cheapest store to get your toiletries and your beauty products. It's quite expensive if you don't use any of their coup any coupons or rewards programs. Um, we find that when we do however um, shop at CVS and we kind of take advantage of the coupons that we're receiving each week in the circulars and also their rewards program to receive extra bucks we can get some really really great deals and oftentimes we can make money makers. Now on this particular um, transaction this was around a week ago, two weeks ago in fact it was on my last CVS haul that I did at the very beginning of my YouTube channel so you can kind of go back to that and have a look at it to see how I um, made use of it with my 30% coupon also included because then it made it a little bit of a money maker. But if we look at this, um, if we had no other additional coupons to those that are usually available to everyone, which is the $1 coupons off one, um, we can use two of those in this transaction. So we can use two of the $1 coupons. So let's see, 
379 each, together that's going to be a total of 758. We can take off two of those $1 coupons to give us a total of 558. Now with this deal at CVS, we're buying two and we can get five extra bucks back if we take part in this deal. So 558 take $5, that's given us an out of pocket for both deodorants at 58 cents. So that makes each deodorant 29 cents out of pocket. Now that's a great deal. Had we have gone for the larger size, had we have gone for the different variety of band deodorants, we'd have been spending around $10 out of pocket to start with. We'd have been taking those two $1 off coupons off from that. So that's gonna give us an out of pocket of about $8. We're then gonna be taking um, the five extra bucks back that we would get after after um, at the register after paying and that would make it around three dollars out of pocket and 150 around 150 each so we're basically getting almost the same quantity of product in this deal but we're going for the cheaper um, the cheaper value product and we're actually getting instead of spending 150 per product using this same promotional deal we're actually only getting them for 29 cents so 29 cents versus the bigger ones for 150 each. That's like a big difference. And in terms of actually the size of the product, not much difference at all. So that's a fantastic deal. And as I said, it's back on again at CVS this week. So I really want you to kind of check that deal out if you can and if it's, if it's of interest to you. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna show you is where we can get a good deal when we buy Tide or Gain. Now this is another deal that is, is also at CVS and I don't know whether it's coming up this week again, but definitely check out your weekly ad because this does again come up time and time again. Um, and this involves Tide and Gain. So let me give you an example. These are products that I've purchased from CVS um, a matter of weeks ago now. So the Gain, and this also includes um, the Tide as well. And usually these are involving the 37 ounce to around 42 ounce Gain and Tide de um, liquid detergent products. And it can also include the, um, the Tide Pod products as well. I've got them behind me, um, and this is the 16 pack count, uh, the 16 count pack. Um, and this is usually also included in the deal, but maybe kind of they're not grouped together. So one week you might find that the detergent itself is in the deal, like the liquid detergent, and the next week you might find that it's the pods that are in the deal. But either either way, it's usually around the same price. So at CVS we find that these are usually on sale for $4.44, a little bit of a random number but that seems to always be the case. And a lot of the times these are also included in another promotional deal, like I said, where you spend a certain amount of money, in this case $20, and you will receive a certain number of extra bucks back as well, in this case $5. Um, so what do we need to, to, how many do we need to buy to meet that threshold? Well, we need to buy five to your, uh, deodorants <laughs> we need to buy five of these detergents to be able to break that $20 threshold and on this occasion and usually we have two dollar off one coupons now in this particular transaction we would have had to buy four tide and one gain or four tide uh, four four gain and one tide to be able to um, kind of get around the the four identical coupons in each transaction kind of um, legality so if we did that and we bought five of those detergents to break the, the $20 threshold, we'd have a total of $22.20 out of pocket. We'd then be able to take $10 worth of coupons off, so that's five times the $2 coupons. Um, and then we'd also be able to take another $5 off that, which is the five extra bucks that we are receiving back at checkout for spending over that $20 threshold. That's gonna give us an out of pocket of about 720. And if we divide that value by each of the five um, detergent bottles or tied uh, or or pod packs that we're getting we're going to get a value of one one dollar and 44 cents each which is an absolute bargain for tide and gain detergent because it usually is an extortionate extortionate amount of money why is this why is this then better to buy in smaller quantities well in this case and a lot of the times at cvs it is the smaller products that are included in the promotional deal so we're kind of kind of constricted to buying that volume or that um, count pack however you know let's compare it if if it was if we weren't const constrained by that promotional deal well we could buy any of the volumes of tide well a hundred ounce bottle of tide at cvs is upwards of ten dollars and we're getting a 40 do a 40 ounce bottle for around 144 that would mean that around two and a half or if we bought two to three bottles of this tide 
we'd have the same volume as the 100 ounce bottle but that we'd be spending around a fifth of the price on that which is a big difference we're still getting the same amount of laundry detergent as if we bought the, the bigger bottle outright but we're actually getting it for a cheaper deal but we're having to buy multiple of the smaller packs and this is something that you will see time and time again as you kind of learn the ropes of couponing is that you might think that you're getting less less product but you're actually spending less out of pocket which allows you to buy multiple of the smaller products and therefore in reality you are actually getting either the same amount or more than you would usually would be if you were just going for the bigger bottles to start with and this is something that you know i want you to kind of take in take into account and as you start to coupon you will kind of realize and and find multiple examples for yourself which will back up this idea and the very last thing that i'm going to touch on is going to be a direct link which i'm going to insert in the down bar below so please do check out that link it's to a video that i made a couple of days ago now and it concerns a little hack to do with square footage um, in association with your toilet roll paper purchases um, and how to kind of use a really quick and simple calculation while you're shopping to get the best value for money um, on your toilet paper we're always bombarded with a lot of promotional sales when it comes to um, household items like toilet paper and other paper paper items and so it's kind of just a little video which is going to hit on a few examples to see whether buying a smaller um, toilet roll paper pack versus a larger toilet roll paper pack is actually going to be better or worse value for money and that's looking at one specific brand and comparing it to different varieties within the same brand and also comparing different brands between each other as well so do check out that video so below. I really do hope that this video has helped you a lot in terms of understanding um, between the examples that I've given you why as couponers we really need to be focused and understand the fact that we do need to make sure that our out of pocket is as low as it possibly can be to usually get the best value for money out of the products that we are purchasing and also to make it wa worthwhile in the first place to coupon. A lot of the times like I said we are kind of um, led to believe that if we buy bigger products that we should be getting them for um, a little bit of less money if we're buying multiple in the same pack but it's not always the case and I've shown you a few video, uh, few examples here um, which should have um, been able to break that down um, into kind of a more simple context for you so that you can understand why that's you know why that is the case um, so I really hope that this is uh, this video has been of interest to you um, please give me um, a thumbs up if you found this interesting it really helps me to know that you know that these videos are of, are of use to you and it will help me to kind of um, expand on different breakdown videos and uh, couponing one on one videos that I can bring you in the future so thank you so much for watching please like please subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video have a lovely evening bye